Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to my video blog. The question I get asked a lot again now is, what is fueling the market in reference to the buyers? And how come now, if you've got 15 offers on a house, how come if you've got 10%, 20%, 30%, 50% down, how come you're getting beat out when you want to buy a regular house? Well, see, here's what's happening in the marketplace. Currently, we've got four sectors of buyers in the market. We've got end users, which are people that want to go ahead and buy the house, live there, and live happily ever after. Kind of cool. Then you've got builders or developers that are looking to buy properties, for instance, in the Palo Alto market. They may go ahead and buy a property, knock it down, in order to build a more expensive home and ultimately make a profit. Then you've got the flippers, the guys that are in there that buying properties anymore that used to be really low in value, now they're buying them with smaller margins of profit because they've just got to find product to keep turning over. But here's one sector that's never been in this marketplace before, and we're seeing it at a higher level. Hedge funds or Wall Street money. They're coming in now and buying at a high, high rate. There's companies like Blackstone, uh, Colony Capital. There's some big, big hedge funds that are buying properties. And as a result, they're not putting them back on the market. So they're going to put those into a huge rental pool and then ultimately turn it into a REIT or a real estate investment trust. So what's happened is these guys are drying up inventory that normally would have been out there for end users or even builders or flippers. So as a result, Pricing is really getting driven up. It's supply and demand. If you dry up a lot of the supply and the demand remains constant, well, obviously prices start moving. See, the one real critical change you've got to look at that's occurred in the last five years is this. In 2007, there were approximately 34,000 all-cash sales in the state of California. 34 or 30 plus thousand in California. Last year, there were over 120,000 all cash sales. So what we're seeing is this, people are actually using a lot more cash, even if they go get financing after. But initially they're throwing in all the chips with all cash. So right now, when you're structuring your offer, make sure you've got somebody that understands the game, how to properly make an offer, because it's not always money. There's other terms that can be added to make it favorable for you to get the home. So if you have questions or want to know how to best structure a deal, whether it's on the market, off the market, or you're just buying it from a family member, let me know. I'd be happy to help. Thanks again.